Hammond Report. This is John Hammond, the organist and accordionist. And I'm back with my daily Hammond Report for the 5th of August, 2020. And it's a Wednesday. Or like they say, over in Germany, Mittwoch. It's the middle of the week. Hope everybody's doing okay out there. First of all, I would like to tell my friends over in Beirut my heartfelt sympathies for the terrible bomb that went off there, explosions. When I saw it on the TV, it just blew my mind. It looked like a nuclear explosion. Terrible. So, my prayers go out to everybody there in Beirut. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for joining me for a few minutes of your day for some of my music and stories. And... My story today goes over to Frankfurt, Germany. We're playing some blues at the end of the night here at the Jazz Keller. That's Joe Berger on the guitar. Yeah, very nice, Joe. And I had Tony Lakatosh on the band this night on tenor saxophone. I know Tony for a long time now, you know. When I was living in Frankfurt on the Rothschild Alley by the Ecke of Rohrbachstrasse, for those of you who know Frankfurt in the North End, there's Tony on the tenor saxophone. Well, some of those times when I was living there were slim times but on the good nights after I made some good money on a gig I would go across the street and we had the Wiener Wald over there I always used to say that I lived on the Rothschild Alley by the Wiener Wald where all the stars eat and I would go over there and give me a crispy chicken. How did they say it over there? Knispert or something like that. <laughs> I would tell the lady. Yeah, because I liked it crispy, you know. And yeah, those were slim times, and I was slim. So if I, uh, uh, what happened? I didn't see Tony for a long time. And then he saw that I put on some weight. And he looked at my stomach and he said, oh man, looking good. And you know, when jazz musicians have a little weight on them, it's, it's uh, considered a good thing because you're eating. So Tony, uh, he said I was looking good, you know. And speaking of looking good, a few years back, I met Tony again in Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> and he rented a car that was a convertible. He called it a cabriolet. And we cruised around a little bit and went to meet his friends. Some more Hungarians who had relocated and played a lot around Las Vegas. Ryan, the drummer, and Soli, great keyboard player. And he had massive arms, very strong looking guy, you know. So afterwards, I, I told Tony, I said, man, Soli, he, he got big arms. He must really work out. And Tony looked at me and he said, Wiener Schnitzel. I thought maybe he didn't understand me, so I said, Tony, 
does, does he work out a lot to get those big arms? And he said, Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there we are there at the Luxor uh, Hotel in Las Vegas. I'm going to play a little bit of organ for you here at the Jazz Keller. Oh, yeah. Well, these are certainly crazy times, ladies and gentlemen. I hope everybody's hanging in there. And the weather's crazy. I'm looking at this trail of destruction. What is that? Uh, Hurricane they're talking about. I can't even pronounce it. Isaias or something like that, right? Oh man. Deadly. Everybody stay safe out there. You're better off staying home. Unless your home just blows away. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you that. I was in uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana last year. I flew into Indianapolis, actually. And when I came out from the baggage, it had a sign that said, Tornado Shelter. So I knew right away I was in the tornado belt there in the Hoosier State. Yeah. You don't want to be in a tornado. I've seen a few twisters out there. Some people chase him. These weather chaser guys. I turn around and, and, and split when I see a twister, let me tell you. This is an old blues we call Blues in the Night. I'm bringing it to you on the Hammond Report. Be sure and tune me in tomorrow. I'll have another one for you. Everybody, have a beautiful day and an even better one tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I got just one last thing to say, everybody, and that is bye-bye now. <laughs>